Welcome students. In our previous session, we understood how to capitalize the expenses and how to make general entry for depreciation. In today's session, we learn how do we book the sale of an asset. When you sell an asset, either you sell at the same price as at your book value or you sell the asset either in gain or in loss. So let's make a ledger first and understand how do we basically record these entries. Just for the sake of mentioning it, I'm putting the values again. We bought an asset for $1,000. Let's say we bought an asset in 2010. The useful life of an asset was five years and the scrap value here is nil. So how much is the depreciation under straight line method we'll be charging every year? $200 a year. That is how we'll be charging. Let's make a ledger account of this and understand how do we dispose an asset. Let's say we sell an asset in 2012 for $870. So this was my selling price. Let's book an entry. First, let's make a ledger account for car. I'm making a T account for car. On 1st Jan 2010, we purchased a car. So what was the general entry we made? Right, car account debit and cash account credit. So in ledger, my cash will come here on 1st Jan 2010 by $1,000. And here we will be transferring it to balance sheet by calling it balance CD. So the moment we write balance CD, we are transferring it to the balance sheet. So $1,000 was taken to balance sheet, closer of 10. In 2011, as we did not buy any other asset, so same balance will be taken. So here we are showing balance BD, $1,000. And again, balance CD, $1,000. Closer of 2011, no further asset buying. I'm assuming that we sold the car on 1st January 2012. In this case, in year 2012, my balance BD will come here by $1,000. But this time, rather than taking it to the balance sheet, we are selling an asset. So we'll transfer this balance to an account, which is called disposal account. This disposal account will end the life of my asset. Because we are selling complete car, we are transferring complete amount to disposal. Had it be a partial sale, we could have transferred partial amount to the disposal account. So this is how we make ledger for car. I hope we are clear with that. Now let's make another ledger, which is called accumulated depreciation account. In our previous session, we understood that we park depreciation in account called accumulated depreciation. So here, let me just take it and see how accumulated depreciation are shown. What was the general entry we made? We made a general entry that depreciation account debited and accumulated depreciation credited that means on 2010, 31st December 2010, my depreciation account will be shown here as $200. And where will that be transferred? Yes, balance sheet. So on here, we'll write balance CD 200 because this amount is going to balance sheet. We have seen in the balance sheet concept 
that my car will be shown net of accumulated depreciation. The moment I park this entry, I'm taking it to the balance sheet to reduce it from car value. So that was closer of my 2010. In 2011, again, my depreciation of 200 will come here. And here I'm having balance BD as well from the previous year, which was 200. So end of the day, how much will be my balance CD for year 2? Yes, that is 400. So here we will be making balance CD 400 so that it will match here. This is how we make entry for accumulated depreciation. In year 12, balance BD will come here by 400. As we discussed before, we are assuming that we sold a, sold a car on 1st January 2012 and there is no depreciation in the year of sale. That's why no entry will be parked here for depreciation. If question specifically tells you particular months, for example, the question says the company sold a car on 31st March. So do charge depreciation for three months. We call that proportionate depreciation. In this case, as we are selling car on 1st January, we are not charging any depreciation. The complete 400 will be transferred to account, which is called disposal account. So this 400 will be transferred to the account called disposal account. End of the accumulated depreciation ledger. All right. Now, we have already made car account. We have made accumulated depreciation. Let's make a depreciation account now. So depreciation account will be very simple. As we have parked our depreciation on accumulated depreciation in year 10. We show accumulated depreciation here by 200 and then it will be transferred to income statement. So income statement debit. Nothing from depreciation will be taken to the balance sheet. Again in year 11 same entry accumulated depreciation 200 and it will be taken to income statement 200. So that's all about depreciation account because it doesn't require too much of adjustment. Now let's make a, another account and that's final account called disposal account. The disposal account is an account which is meant for selling an asset. Primarily, this account is only and only made when the company is selling an asset. Else, we do not require this account called disposal account. So, all my sale related transaction will be shown in this ledger. Let's make a disposal account now. In my car account, we transferred this balance to disposal account. That means this will go to disposal. Which side? Yes, my car will come this side by $1000. Then another entry which we made was here. Accumulated depreciation. So here we shall be showing accumulated depreciation 400. So these two entries are balancing. Then we said that we will be selling an asset for $870. That means this amount is cash. We will be showing cash here as $870. Let's try to balance the ledger now. It is giving me $1270 here. Whereas this balance is only $1000. 
my double entry system says my debit and credit needs to be equal. Which is not happening. Where is that $270 is gone? Yes. It is gain on sale of asset. My worth of asset was $1,000. I sold it for $1,270. I will show as gain on sale of asset by $270. Now my account has balanced. This gain on sale will be transferred to income statement finally. Had it been a loss on sale of asset, would have been shown here and would have parked in the income statement on debit side. So this is how we make entry for disposal of asset. I'm sure we are clear about the concept of disposing or selling an asset. Let's make a general entry for it now. As now we understand the concept of gain and so sale and off asset, make a general entry. Cash account debited 870, car account credited $1000. The accumulated depreciation account will be debited by 400 and the 270 will go as gain on sale credited by 270. With parking this entry, we are done with disposal. One more important concept I would like to tell you here. Unless and until question specifically mentions that do not charge depreciation in the year of sale. Then charge the depreciation proportionately. If question is silent, not telling you specifically and company has not sold an asset on day one. Charge the depreciation for the month, the company still own that asset. If question specifically say do not charge depreciation in the year of sale, then do not charge. There may be situation at the year of purchase also, company may say charge full year depreciation in the year of purchase. In that case, charge full year depreciation, not proportionately. What is proportionate depreciation? Let's say my depreciation is $200 for a year. But I sold, I bought a car after six months. Say I bought a car on 1st of July. In that case, 200 multiplied by 6 months divided by 12 months. $100 is the amount of depreciation I should book in year 1. Year 2 onwards, it will keep coming as $200. We call that proportionate depreciation. So please be careful if question specifically talks about charging full year depreciation or no depreciation, follow it. If question is silent, charge the depreciation proportionally. So that's all about the concept of asset and depreciation. I hope we are clear with that and for next session stay tuned. See you soon. Thank you.